Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI and a positive human impact story today and targeted directly at my core audience, 18 to 34. So hat tip to Ben Cohen at the Wall Street Journal. Check this out. The world's smartest minds and a 2000 year old mystery is the title of the article. Last year, when he was a college student majoring in computer science and interning at SpaceX, Luke Ferreter began working on a problem that captivated many of the world's brightest young minds, one that could only be solved with machine learning, computer vision, and the latest AI. So this is a complete AI-driven breakthrough. He wanted to read a bunch of 2,000-year-old papyrus scrolls. These scrolls, known as the Herculeum papyri, have been unreadable since Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD. They were buried under mud and ashes at a private villa near Pompeii. When they were discovered in the 1700s, the carbonized scrolls were too fragile to even handle. Then, Tech investors, billionaire quants, and Silicon Valley luminaries decided to fund the Vesuvius Challenge, a $1 million competition with the crazy goal of using AI to recover a few passages from the Herculaneum papyri. And it actually worked. The scrolls have finally been open after 300 years almost. The winning team consisted of three students, including Ferreter. The three winners still have not met in person. I think this promises a very exciting future where seemingly impossible ideas become possible, said another member of the team, Yusef Nader, a 27-year-old machine learning PhD student. So we've got two AI guys working on this so far. Richard Janko, Professor of Classical Studies said, We couldn't have done this without the tech guys. The burnt scrolls were in such rough shape that they couldn't be physically unraveled, which made them a perfect target for pioneering research by a computer scientist named Brent Seals. The process of virtually unwrapping the Herculaneum papyri involved three steps. Scanning, segmentation, and searching for ink. First, the scrolls had to be scanned at high resolution by a particle accelerator. Then the sheets had to be identified, separated, and digitally flattened. Only then could the machine learning models read the ink. So SEALs received an email from Nat Friedman. Who is that? Friedman is a tech investor, entrepreneur, and former CEO of GitHub. When he learned, when Friedman learned about SEAL's effort to read the Herculaneum scrolls, he wanted to help. He pitched an unconventional idea, a contest. One of the many benefits of contests is that they are magnets for talent. Farrader was an intern at SpaceX last year listening to Friedman on a podcast while driving to the company's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. That's when he heard about the Vesuvius Challenge. Nader, who is from Egypt, was similarly compelled about the contest, but for a different reason. He's Egyptian. The third member of the winning team, Julian Schillinger, is a 28-year-old robotics grad student. So, Two AI guys and one roboticist. The contest dangled a tantalizing grand prize, 700000 for the first team to recover four legible passages of 140 characters each by the end of 2023. Why 140 characters? Think Twitter, the original Twitter. Friedman believed it would be essential to blend competition with cooperation. That's why the Vesuvius Challenge offered another 300,000 in prizes that were rewarded for milestones along the way. When he read about another contestant's discovery of a crackle pattern in the shape of Greek letters, Farrader trained his machine learning model 
on those characters to look for more of them. Last summer, Farrader's AI model spotted a string of 10 letters that spelled Porphyrus purple. This made Farrader the first person in 2,000 years to read a word of the unopened Herculaneum papyri. It also made him $40,000. So I'll make some comments about that at the end. Meanwhile, halfway around the world, Nader was plugging away at his own AI models, which earned him a $10,000 progress prize. By then, there was an active Vesuvius Challenge community on Discord. Farrader and Nader made the strategic decision to join forces. In the days before the December 31st, 2023 deadline, they also teamed up with Schillinger, whose impressive work extracting sheets from the scrolls fed their models with more data. Their entry stood out among the 18 submissions. So what do the scrolls actually say? Likely written by the Epicurean philosopher Philodemus, they discuss topics we still talk about today. Music, food, and pleasure. Basically, how to lead a happy life. Seems like that's an age-old human quest. You can almost see someone writing this on Substack right now, Friedman said. The first year of the Vesuvius Challenge unearthed 5% of one scroll. There's another six-figure prize attached to this year's goal, recovering 90% of the four scrolls that have been scanned. And they hope that's just the start. Classic scholars also believe there's a much bigger library of hidden treasures waiting to be excavated from Herculaneum that could keep them busy for the next 2,000 years. So great, very interesting article. So what does this all mean? Well, it means a few things. There's real rewards for studying tech and science. Second, the idea of contests is not new. In fact, it's over 2,000 years old, but made famous most recently by Peter Diamandis via the X Prize. This Vesuvius challenge applied modern technology to something that never could have been accomplished without it. So clearly, there's great employment opportunities for people who want to study how to build and train AI. Same with robotics. This is for many years yet, in both cases. Finally, what do we learn? Well, we learn what Peter Diamandis figured out a long time ago, and someone, I forget who it was, figured it out over 2,000 years ago. Contests generate breakthrough results. First of all, they can assemble a team from around the globe, just like this case. Secondly, it fosters innovation by looking for a whole new way to do things. This is really important stuff to society. There are many, many societal problems waiting to be solved. I believe that AI can solve many of those challenges properly applied. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. We can't do this without your support. There is a finite period where someone can build a YouTube channel without support. So please help support us. Five or ten bucks makes a big difference. Link below. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care. Bye.